Russia has launched the third stage of drills on the use of nuclear weapons, authorities reported on Wednesday. Russian Defense Ministry said the drills were intended to maintain troops' readiness for combat missions. As part of this exercise phase, personnel from the missile formations of the southern and central military districts will complete combat training tasks, including acquiring special training ammunition for the Iskander-M tactical missile systems, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. Servicemen will also be instructed in equipping launch vehicles and covertly advancing to designated positions to prepare for electronic launches, the statement added. The ministry clarified that the drills were taking place in the central and southern military districts, which include several North Caucasus republics and annexed Crimea, as well as four partially occupied regions of southern and eastern Ukraine that Russia claims to have annexed. The first stage of the exercises began later in May after President Vladimir Putin ordered the drills in response to what he described the Western threats and provocations. This stage of drills involves training on the Iskander-M missile systems and various aircraft, the Russian Defense Ministry said. Russia is sympathetic to neither of the US presidential candidates looking upon the presidential campaign in the United States as a fight of a spider in a jar, Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev told TASS. We never interfere into domestic affairs of other countries. We only defend our country and our citizens. From this point of view, it is of little interest for us who and how wins the election in America and how they are going to build their election campaign and organize voting, who eats who. He said when asked whether Donald Trump's presidency will be beneficial for Russia. As a matter of fact, now, this is nothing but a fight of spiders in a jar, he said. We feel sympathy with neither of the candidates, but we will have to somehow maintain contact with any representative of that country's legitimate authorities. On July the 21st, Joe Biden said that he will not run for the next term as the US president, supporting at the same time the nomination of Vice President Kamala Harris from the Democratic Party. Joe Biden can do anything as dictated by his entourage because his successor will nevertheless deal with the problems, Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev said, answering the question from TASS. The president that is fearable and does not influence anything will hold the office while the replacement is being picked. Probably this is more convenient. He became the lame duck in the full sense of this word. However, his hands are fully freed for these six months. His time is running low. He can do anything when dictated by his entourage. His successor will in any case suffer blowback, the Russian politician said. We regrettably have become a half step more closer to a global catastrophe, with the reason being full recklessness of the West, its absolute indifference in respect of the fate of the humanity. I hope very much the world will not finally collapse during these six months, Medvedev added. No one among US presidents before Biden was so deriding in eyes of nationals, of his country and the whole world. This proves once again that the figure of a formal US leader is currently just a decoration, nothing more than a shield, the official stressed. The so-called deep state and not the elected president runs all the processes in the US now, Medvedev noted. A straw man or an Egyptian mummy can be put in the Oval Office. Nothing will change in the scheme of things, he added. The course of the history will give further assessment to actions of the US president. I will not guess anything in advance. Medvedev noted in response to the request for a comment on words of ex-US President Donald Trump that Joe Biden is the worst president in the US history. The behavior of US authorities is unpredictable and this makes them a threat to the world, considering the possibility of using nuclear arms, the official stressed.